Um, this is actually my first time performing here too, so y'all be kind to me. <laughs> this is for all the women in here. Men, y'all definitely need to hear this too, so please let me know here for a second. It's called Phenomenal. You are phenomenal. Every woman of every shape, every color of every race, you are in every way phenomenal. The stars in your eyes make astronomical changes in the constellations that rotate thoughts in our minds. Mine sometimes swerves off a cliff from my eyes trying to navigate your curves. That is, until my ears take the wheel and try to evade the impact of your words, which have the power to empower me over these monstrous obstacles that threaten to devour me, over the limitations they have set for me, the power to forcefully make all the evil in the world cease with a gentle kiss. Hectically, I struggle against this. Because the second I leave your side, I end up second guessing the person I just knew I was when I arrived and not regretfully. But that just makes it more confusing. Of course, I'm still a warrior in this war that is life, but perhaps I'm not a refugee. Maybe I belong to something with a different purpose. You're different, but perfect. Your imperfections don't make you flawed. No. To me, your only flaw is you think you have flaws. They make you perfect. They are what deliver us from the boredom of infinite sameness. You get on our nerves, yeah, we claim this, but we do so knowing that those things are what make you so worth it. But you've elected magazines and TVs as presidents of your perspectives. Now stereotypes decide who's who, and that's the truth, but Who's truth? Because from my hypothetical spectacles, what makes you beautiful is everything that makes you, you. But sadly, some of you will leave still thinking you're just vessels for a baby that deserves to get paid a little bit for her efforts. Prostitution? No. Is it prostitution if all he did was buy you a car? The money for some clothes and some ice so you can stay in fashion for the winter? No. I don't think so, but I know that's not all you're meant to be. You're not just phenom in all, you're a phenom in all your femininity. And I wish I could be the director of things. I would edit and dissect this in a dozen matters. So you can see my perspective and how I see you, which really doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm just another man. But fast forward, how do you think the woman sitting next to you sees you? Pause. Doesn't matter. Because if she sees you as anything other than the queen that I've been telling you that you are, then she's part of the reason why you think you have flaws in the first place. Play. The question is, how do you see yourself? Pause. Doesn't matter unless you know who you are. Because a lot of y'all have been tricked into thinking that a lot of y'all are just tricks. So you find it acceptable for a man to disrespect you as long as he puts my in front of bitch. Nonsense! You are queen, and anything said against this is the rhetoric of peasants who see with jealous eyes the regal beauty with which you shine effortlessly, who employ hate because their crowns have long since been forgotten, and who are afraid that it is visible that all they really want is to be seen, and to make you invisible. And in a way they succeeded, the kingdoms you once carried in your minds have now withered and fleeting. You have given leadership to a whole new attitude. So dawns the age of the bad bitch, who has savagely cut the essence of my royal women by the neck. And now my queens are on their deathbeds. And I don't know if they will live or if this is their last breath, but they're phenomenal. Shit. <laughs> Y'all make noise, man. I'm a fucking shit. <laughs>
good stuff, man. That was real talk, bro. I appreciate that, man. Y'all need, y'all do need to be know, made known that y'all are queens, man.